fantastic amazing I, I mean, it was great playing coming back to my hometown and the reaction last night was phenomenal I mean I've, 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 that's my sixth time that's the sixth time left field have played here that's the biggest night I think ever actually that's amazing and that's the kind of reaction you want isn't it after being yeah. away for a little bit of time and then coming back and celebrating the birthday yeah it is it's, it's fantastic because it's you know we've decided to do the, do the record in, in its order like you know exactly as it was thought of and you know to see people following it I mean every every song has got its own little story to be told and you know you can see people's reaction and going right to the end yeah, yeah it was fun it was a wonderful experience yeah. how does it feel because obviously it's an album that will never go away because it's one yeah. of the most important dance albums of the 90s and still so you know today obviously because people still say it's their favorite dance album and it was really pivotal for the dance industry because it was so eclectic mm -hmm. um how does it make you feel though playing it live especially and does it bring back loads of memories of 95 it, it brings back tons of memories all the tracks um you know uh, it's a lot of time has gone over 22 years a lot of a lot of water under the bridge lots of changes in left field and it, it, it brings it, it has ha happy memories for me you know we, it was a wonderful creative experience making it with paul i mean we we pushed ourselves to the out limit to actually get the record it was never an easy process you know we work really hard and um take it very seriously you know we don't you know so it brought back memories of long studio sessions um i was talking to one of the guys that actually produced one of the tracks um joe gibb the other day who did uh, release the pressure on the album and um uh, storm 3000 and we were just saying he was just reminding me about how he used to just you know have a game plan and then just experiment continually you know taking breaks off taking putting bass lines in taking them out adding samples taking them out and stuff and we you know sculpting it and he he just said it was what you know like it was like a full-on dub session yeah it was, was it a different process to how you make music now how you think about music do you, do you feel like a different person as an no, artist no not at all i mean i still work in exactly the same way i mean i might use you know I, I'm always trying to do something new so whenever I'm working I try and sort of it's obviously it's tougher because when we start when we did made leftism it, a lot of what we were doing we were breaking boundaries and and and, and maybe doing things that hadn't been done or, or, or we weren't the only ones but you know it, it, since then the standard of electronic music is is continued to rise and it's particularly at the moment I which is you know I think we're at a high point and I mean, a big difference is that we did, didn't dream that electronic music and DJ culture will become as massive as it has done. It's great, though, isn't it? I mean, it's really something to celebrate. It's fantastic. I mean, I mean, you know, I, you know, I still DJ a lot all over the world, and you know, I'm, I don't actually play much left field in my set. Not because I don't like it, but because there's too many good bloody records out yeah. there that I love. So you know, I think we're at a high high point, and uh, there's an awful lot of young producers that I got involved with to to make this record um, to do the remixes on this record you know like scream and hodge and people like that that i really respect that's fantastic you say that because i think there are certain people that are quite cynical about the industry particularly now so but it's great to hear you saying that you're still you know buzzing about it and you're still really interested in making music absolutely creatively i mean i you know i i i, I can't think of anything better than when i when i you know hear a record that is you know that is new and fresh and or, or there's only a hundred copies of it, and it's wonderful. I mean, I'm you know I'm always I'm regularly in contact with Hodge and the whole Bristol scene, particularly just yeah. because I think what they're doing is really pretty radical. But not just them. I mean, I get records sent to me from all types of people, and I just think that you know it's it's we really are a wonderful place, you know, for electronic music. And as long as people you know push the boundaries and don't just get generic and yeah. copy you know that is when I get a bit irritated you know I mean I like DJs that take chances and you know turn things round and it's uh, the punk in you isn't it yeah I yeah. mean I, I, I just think that's I mean it's the only way forward is to, to is to break break you know when people tell you not to do something you should do it in especially with it's, uh, well all music it should be like that you know yeah. that's what we're here to do we're not just here to just fit into a genre I first met John when I was 19 actually, uh, I knew him through another friend and I went round to his house when I was very young and uh, sat in his 
place he had a house on Gunter Grove in West London just listening to reggae and then I'd always had this idea I, I wrote a demo before actually before Paul got involved with Left Field and I had it in the back all the time back of my head and lots of people were sampling John and using him in, in and I, I, I said to Paul I've got this idea well it'd be wicked to get John John Lydon and John, Paul immediately thought yeah well, great idea and it was actually quite simple I mean I had a way into him so I, he, he I sent him a demo and he nothing happened for a long time and then he got back to me and said no I really like it and he came in and did the vocal in about five goes he'd already all the lyrics and everything was done in one go was he really excited about the whole yeah song? yeah yeah he, he'd been approached by other people uh, and I think he was approached by a prodigy actually and people like that and he didn't you know but he got left field particularly and you know he, he liked the remixes that we've been doing and then it was just a pleasure to work with John because and it is a great vocal there's no doubt it's a great vocal there's no two ways about it it's impossible to replicate yeah um, it's very it, distinctive isn't it yeah it's fantastic yeah because yeah. um, you were in a punk band you were in was it more than one punk band you were in before? I was in punk bands yeah. yeah but I didn't do anything we were in bands that were influenced by bands like Pill particularly yeah. I like Pill a lot so I used to follow Pill around and I was in but nothing really came of that side I was into Joy Division and uh, then things like African Bambata and then when technology came in with bands like well people, records like African Bambata and I was so taken away blown away by it I mean I was listening to electronic music all the way through the 80s so I was always in, I was into I used to DJ even those days club American music mainly and you know and it was the the technology just made me give up indie music because I just couldn't afford a Lindrum. Leftism obviously is one of the most important dance, music, uh, dance albums to a lot of people. Um, what's your favourite dance album? Um, oh, that's really tough. I really, I, I really, I, I like, I like actually a record that I really rate. I think is a great album. Is is uh, the Prodigy album, Jilted Generation. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I do like that record because it has that punk spirit. So. Yeah, this, I, I like the production on it. I just think it's an incredible record. Yeah, but I don't know if it's my favourite. I mean, it changes all the time. Right? And I but guess I like you've probably got other favourite albums that aren't in that genre. You yeah, like. I mean, I, I pick up on records all the time that I just my new favourite and think you know all types of things. But I mean, that's one I do think is particularly brilliant. What are you listening to at the moment? Just new, te- new underground, stuff. underground techno, yeah, really. Yeah. I've just been listening to to uh, Hodges' new, something he just sent me, and I've got t- tons of one-off records that I I love, you know, that I just play continually. That you know, that, but you know. So what's next after this tour? What are you going to be working on? I've next? got a new EP actually. I'm oh, working great. on an EP at the moment that I'm I'm trying to shape when I get a few minutes, but I haven't had much chance. No. So <laughs> when this tour finishes in June, I'll be concentrating on that. I think new music. Neil, it's great seeing you today. Oh, I'm pleasure, so man. excited for you, and yeah, I think it's fantastic that the album's come well, back. And obviously, support. The, no, thanks for support the station. Yeah. Um, I've got to say, also the the remix is fantastic. Yeah, it's so well, fresh right. too. It's like almost like a new lease of life. Yeah, people like Adesh versions. So, I mean, I love what he does. I just think he's really clever yeah. and getting zombie on there, and you know, it's you know, it's the idea was to actually try and get it out there to a whole new. You know, people who who was and scream obviously who was, who was they've all been brilliant. I mean, they they just people dropped other things. I mean, getting Ben Sims in right at the end to do, you know, Black Float was yeah. awesome because I like what the Ben does. I play a lot of his records out, and that's yeah, it was a journey in itself. Have you noticed the crowds when you've been on tour? Have you noticed the crowds are, are younger, or is it yeah mixed? We've got a mixed crowd. At the, I mean, there's a lot of people last night that were uh, the, you know sort of early generation, but it, amongst them, there's a lot of young people. And obviously, with my last album, which is uh, Alternative Light Source, I toured that last year. That the crowds were very young. Some and people saying it's really loud. I mean, that's that's yeah, a yeah. well-known thing. Is it's it quality. Left it's yeah. quality loud. That's it brilliant. is loud. It's the biggest. System. It's an incredible system in Brixton tonight. But it, it's not ear splittingly going to no. damage people. It's it's round and you can feel healthy. it. You feel the bass because you got to feel it. It's like Frankie yeah, Knuckles. It's like a reggae sound. Unless you feel but it, you've you got you got to feel that bass. Otherwise, yeah. it ain't going to work. It's good to see you, Neil. Um, thanks for your time. Man. Good luck with the rest of the tour and the EP too. Thank you.